dangerous lows, the risk of frostbite rises, and it can set in in just minutes. New tonight, Garrett Hake spoke to doctors at the University of Kansas Hospital about a breakthrough treatment for frostbite victims that can save limbs. Yeah, Krista, for decades, the treatment for frostbite, even at major hospitals, was about as simple as warming the affected area up and hoping for the best. But a few years ago, researchers realized they could treat frozen blood vessels much like clotted ones and began experimenting with a different type of drug. Robert Adkins doesn't remember much about the night last weekend when he was picked up off the streets of Kansas City and brought to the burn unit with severe frostbite. I remember being so cold. That's what I do remember, actually. I remember being very, very, very cold. I haven't been that cold in a long, long time. The frostbite had spread beyond just fingers and toes, and he'd lost feeling completely in his right foot. I was freezing. I was literally freezing to death. Just a few years ago, that foot might have been a lost cause. But at the University of Kansas Hospital, he became just the second patient to receive a new treatment focused not on his foot, but on his blood. Rethawing process, which our burn unit is very good at, it can't open up those blood vessels. We can't restore blood flow into those tiny blood vessels that have clot in them. So you need another weapon? So we need another weapon. That weapon is TPA, the same clot-busting medicine the hospital would normally give a stroke patient, which opens up tiny blood vessels, essentially frozen shut. This is today's angiogram showing that the blood flow is now restored as a result of the TPA administration. In two days, Adkins' foot returned to something approaching normal. Today, he said he could actually feel it again, marking a big step forward for a dangerous affliction. Thank God for these people. You know, to be able to fix my foot. And right now, there are only two frostbite victims here at the hospital. But with these biting winds, it seems almost certain that there will be more. Hospital staff say they are ready. Reporting live at the University of Kansas Hospital, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.